Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another uh, domain video. This is some uh, this is some breaking news. I have to go over here. So, uh, Sony has decided to do something really crazy. Uh, they have removed Cyberpunk 2077 from the PlayStation Store. Uh, the game does not come up. I'm, I'm looking at an article from The Verge. Uh, several other outlets have reported this. So, But um, apparently you can't even search up the game on the PlayStation Store. It is gone. It does not exist. And I got some thoughts about this. So um, CD Projekt Red made a statement saying that if you wanted to get a digital uh, a refund of the game, you had to go to your respective digital store, whether it be Steam whether it be Xbox Live or the PlayStation Network. Well, apparently Sony didn't like that. They didn't like that they had to give people refunds, which is just too damn bad. So being the petty company that they are, because Sony's Sony can be pretty petty, <laughs> uh, they have removed Cyberpunk 2077 completely off of their store page. It's not there. I haven't gone on my PlayStation yet to see this for myself, but um, it's definitely true. I mean, all these different outlets are talking about it, and uh, it's not there. Now, I don't know if Microsoft's going to follow suit. They probably won't because they have partnered up with CD Projekt Red. They made a, uh, CD, uh, a Cyberpunk 2077 console, an Xbox One X console, so I don't think we're going to see Microsoft doing this too. I think it's a load of crap. Um, this this whole thing has been sensationalized by video game outlets all across the board. And a lot of my fellow YouTube gaming channels have also sensationalized the crap out of this thing. And that's, and that's what happens. It happens in other media happens on news major news outlets sensationalized stuff and then everybody jumps on the hate train so it's happening here look is this game a bad game it is not a bad game is it a game that i think should be pulled from a storefront no it's it's not that's that's pettiness that's pettiness on sony's part sony you being petty i'm gonna say this because nobody no no other outlet's gonna say this because let's be honest there's other news outlets out there that I'm not going to mention out of respect because they're, they're, these are ones that I respect as well. But they, they're getting stuff on the side. They're getting money. They, get, they, take, they take paid reviews. So, of course, they're going to they're gonna doll, doll this whole thing up and make it look like CD Projekt Red is a bad guy. Listen, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Cyberpunk 2077 was an insanely overhyped game. That is a fact. It's insanely overhyped. It's been hyped for the past almost 10 years. But let's talk about what's gone on in the last eight years since this game was first announced back in 2012. You have to understand, one, CDPR only has 500 employees. That's all they got to work with. Two, uh, let's see, seven different platforms came out between 2013 and this year. And I'm not just, and I'm not including the the base Xbox One and the base PlayStation Four. We're talking about the Xbox One S, PlayStation Four Pro, the Xbox Series S and X, Xbox One X, and uh, Stadia. You have seven different platforms. That means they had to make this game for ten different platforms. That includes the base uh, Xbox One and PS4 and the PC. So now that all these media outlets and news outlets, the same ones that were giving CDP, uh, CD Projekt Red crap for not pushing this game out. I mean, these people were saying, oh, put this game out. Why are we going through three delays? Why can't we have this game? We want this game. We want to play this game. I want to play this game. Give me this game. I want to play this game. Put this game out now. Well, guess what, guys? You got it. You got it. You guys had even reported that CD Projekt Red wasn't very confident about releasing this game on December the 10th. Uh, let me pull this up here real quick. Uh, CDPR, I'm, I'm doing this in real time. 
about their December 10th I, I very vaguely remember there it is pushsquare.com okay said in October of 2020 and I will link to this below for you if you don't believe me this is a push square article since the, the headline is Cyberpunk 2077 dev not comfortable not comfortable but they're confident right they weren't comfortable okay that's that's from them Adam Kaczynski, he is the uh, lead developer of this of the game, said, we feel maybe not comfortable, but confident in the new release date. And then, of course, what did this media outlet do? Again, not the kind of comment you want to hear if you're betting on Cyberpunk hitting its new date. You, I hate to say this, but I'm not going to make excuses. I'm not trying to make excuses. I'm trying to see this from two sides of the coin. When you guys complain and whine and moan about not getting your game yet it's going to put pressure on these developers and they're going to eventually say you know what screw it let's give it to them you guys asked for it you guys begged for it this is what you get and you got it and you got it they did not they they did not they del the last delay was November 19th they did not they were going to put it out then and they said no this game should not have came out. They should have delayed it. They should have delayed it another month, maybe another two months, maybe not even until March. We'll say, hell, we'll say spring of next year. But what would you guys have done? What would all my fellow media outlets do? Because, yes, I'm going after you. Some of you that I highly respect, but I'm, I'm going to respect you enough to not call you out by name. But I will say that there's so many of you out there that are that you do this thing where you complain, complain, and complain about a game not releasing. Then when the game comes out, you're like, oh man, they should have delayed it. Why didn't they like, it's like, it's like, hello, did you, do you remember how you reported this information? So, uh, <laughs> so Sony has taken the game off of its storefront. I don't even know if it's gonna come back on. It will eventually, I'm sure. But here's what sucks. CD Projekt Red is supposed to have a patch come out for this. Uh, and now that the game's on the store, how are they going to be able to release a patch to people? To people that still have the game. What's that? What's that for them? So, who knows? I hope they don't take it off Microsoft. I think that, you know, do, am I upset about the state of the game? Yes. I want I want to tell you one thing. I don't think this game is is should have came out in the shape that it's in. I want to very much iterate that. I'm with a lot of you who are upset. However, you have to understand where CD Projekt Red's kind of coming from, too. And so many of you out there are like, oh, they lied. They lied to people. What did they lie about? How did they lie? Eight years ago, all they had was a PS4 and Xbox One. It probably did look great on there. And then when they had to redevelop and redistribute and everything else, can you not see how that could cause quality on an eight-year-old piece of tech to look to go down think about this for a minute let's be reasonable before we get our pitchforks and torches out and go burn them down and treat them like they're ea so he didn't even do this for no man's sky a game that literally was not what they uh was, was not at all what we were promised nowhere near close to what was promised when it came out they didn't take that game down you know why so didn't take that game down because of money because they had an exclusive partnership for that game to come out exclusively on Sony. And of course, that's why they didn't take that game out. Do you think if Cyberpunk 2077 was a Sony exclusive, they'd take it from the store? Hell no, they wouldn't take it from the store. It's all about this guy. Sony don't care about you. They don't care. These, these companies at the end of the day, most of them don't care about you. So before you go out there and say, oh, good job, Sony. Sony, good job. You guys, you did something for the gamers. They didn't do this for you. They did this because of money. That's why they did this shit. So, uh, so there it is. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you have hope for this game? I do. It's, it, it's CDPR. I have nothing but my utmost faith and trust in them. 
uh, until they really give me more reasons to not like them as a developer. But right now, as it stands, yes, I have way more trust in them. I mean, if this game was developed by EA, oh boy, oh boy, I would have no faith at all whatsoever. Anyway, leave me uh, your thoughts in the comments below. By the way, we hit finally over 100 subscribers here on this channel. I want to thank all of you guys so much for doing that. Thank you guys for making that possible. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, we get more viewers and, and subscribers, better things will happen. By the way, if you're already subscribed to this channel, you're automatically entered into any future giveaways that we will have here on the channel. We will have them at some point. I don't know when, but those giveaways will get better the more subscribers this channel has. This channel has. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'll see you guys. Take care.